It is an honor to join all of you today and to share Indonesia's effort in advancing youth participation in the decision-making process. The Indonesian House of Representatives, in particular, is determined and has been working continuously to bolster youth participation throughout our functions. And the Indonesian Parliamentary Youth Caucus, the first ever youth caucus in the Indonesian Parliament, connects 72 young MPs aged 21 to 40 from eight political parties and 11 uh, House Commissions, fully supports the Parliament's effort to increase youth engagement. And since our formation three years ago when we first elected, we have aimed to act as a bridge which connects youth aspiration and their young representatives. We held hearings, discussions, and public events in cooperation with youth organizations to educate and train young people on policy making. However, the incoming political year in 2024, where we are going to have our presidential and legislative election, posed a dividing challenge that could potentially elevate youth participation at the decision-making table to reach a new height. Next year, our youth will hold a strategic advantage over the national election because we control more than half of our ballot share, 53% of the total voters. And therefore, political parties have started to target youth as their audience. And uh, by, for example, increasing their social media presence, associating themselves with um, young public figures, and putting forward issues that are relevant to the younger audience. And however, unfortunately, not as much of their effort to provide them with more opportunities to join politics or their political party. And this is partly exacerbated by the lack of policy support which might hinder youth interest in joining politics. And Indonesia has not yet adopted a youth quota to increase youth participation in politics or public offices. And this is despite 15 years since we first introduced gender quota for women in our laws as affirmative action. And therefore, we have been pushing for the adoption of a youth quota to increase youth formal representation in our electoral bodies political parties including as election candidates and in 2021 as the Indonesian head delegate for the year's uh, Y20 summit, U20, I introduced the statutory youth quota in public offices where I refer to this forum's report on youth participation in national parliament and the proposal was adopted as part of the Y20 communique which laid out the G20 youth policy recommendations for the government. And while at home, my colleagues in the Youth Caucus and I have been working together to push for the adoption of a youth quota nationally. We also have hope that the forum can include the adoption of a youth quota as our formal consensus. And if we haven't yet, so that more parliamentarians, especially us as a young MP, can advocate for them at our country. I hope our experience can actively support this movement and even um, inspire more fruitful discussions. And thank you for um, the opportunity.